so we have a green pool here um, it looked far worse before uh, we actually were able to get the get it, it to change color to some extent but then uh, this is a video about change how to get your green pool uh, to change it to being swimmable um, so I'm going to tell you what uh, the things that we did we threw a bunch of things at it and it was uh, very frustrating and nothing seemed to work and um, we almost gave up and decided to probably drain and refill uh, but this was the last method that we uh, thought we'd give it another shot and it seems to be working so it looks we had it some shock uh, the last couple of days and the color seems to have changed uh, to some extent it's still a little bit green but so so much better than the uh, green swamp people that we had before so we had um, the reason why it turned green is uh, last year the pump didn't work so it took a week for us to get it changed and within that week uh, it kind of the algae got uh, built up and then it became a swampy pore and to add on top of that uh, the leaves I think fell in the fall and because the pool wasn't clear we couldn't see the leaves so we didn't clean it we didn't know where they were we couldn't get to it so all that adds to building up the algae and uh, so so I'm going to walk you through the steps that we took so far and what we're going to do to have this change and I strongly feel that this will change color the next couple of days to become blue so this is what we did so what what i would suggest is make sure you have to understand the pool chemistry and if you have an understanding of that you pretty much will know how to do it we, uh, there are a couple of methods that you can use to uh, remove the algae and uh, get it changed so before that you have to make sure that you remove all the vegetation the insects and the leaves and all of that these are the things that add to the uh, phosphate level in the pool and the phosphate and the nitri nitrates are the ones that feed the algae so this is the food source for your algae so it's important that you make sure to clear it out the filter is running uh, it removes most of it but still we still have a little bit of leaf and uh, insects and other things falling here because as you can see it's like kind of surrounded by trees all around so um, difficult to make sure that nothing falls the only other way would be to probably buy a net that's available in walmart and uh, cover it when you're not using your pool so that way you don't have to really come in and do all this cleaning every time so but before you uh continue with the process the first thing i'll suggest is that you make sure you remove everything all the vegetation all the insects and everything off of your pool because that's uh in essence, you're removing all the phosphates. So, um, so as we are removing out the vegetation, uh, I'm gonna walk you through uh, what's been done so far. Before you start the process, make sure you backwash, rinse your uh, filter. So you're removing everything, all the clogged impurities, the algae, everything that is already in the filter. So do a backwash rinse, and then uh, make sure you balance all the chemicals so your pH needs to be between 7.2 and 7.8 uh, um, and alkalinity has to be between 80 and uh, 1, 150 so make sure these two are in range if it is not then you need to add the appropriate chemicals to bring it up uh, so there are a few options that you can do we go to Leslie pool to get uh, most of our supplies so you can either use alkalinity up which will increase your ph as well as your alkalinity or you can use soda ash um, you can go online to find out how much soda ash to use depending on the size of your pool um, and then usually about eight pounds or so is what you might need to add if you don't have soda ash you can also use uh, baking soda um, the regular baking soda which is not an ideal thing but um, it's better than nothing so uh, you can still get baking soda, the regular baking soda from Walmart, but you have to get a lot of it and then put it, uh, get your pH and alkalinity up. Uh, and then next one will be the cyanuric acid. Uh, you need to check your cyanuric acid too. So take a good sample to the um, pool.
pool stores, most of them will do check the water for free for you. And the cyanuric acid, there's two things. If it's low, um, the cyanuric acid comes from uh, the, the, the chlorine pox that you use for sanitizing the pool. So mostly uh, you don't have, if you just add it one time when you open the pool, it should be sufficient. Uh, but if it is low, um, get some uh, stabilizer and add it uh, to increase it up. It has to be, uh, there's a range, so make sure it's within range. If it's too high, uh, what you can do is to, the only method that you can use is to lower the water level and add some tap water. So that will lower the cyanuric acid and then um, you can continue with the shocking method. But then uh, if it's low, you can either add some chlorine and your free, most probably if you have algae, it's uh, evident that there's no uh, free chlorine available. So you can safely add more chlorine pucks. So that will increase the cyanuric acid and also increase the free chlorine that's there in your pool. So these are some of the things that you can do to increase the cyanuric acid uh, level. But if it's still not coming up, you can add a biostabilizer and add it. Uh, if not, it's not gonna make too much of a difference. Uh, the, the only thing with uh, lower cyanuric acid is your free, free chlorine levels can um, reduce because of sunlight. Uh, so you don't want that to happen because you want the chlorine levels to be high uh, for the algae to, for it to kill the algae. So, uh, so after you've gotten all this balanced, now we are going to do the slime method. There's two types where you can remove, kill the algae. Um, I would say don't use all this algae side and green to clean and yellow to clean. We tried all that and none of it worked. So the, what worked for us was the slam method, which is um, you're slamming it with the uh, high shock. So you calculate the size of your pool and there's different methods. One is normal. The three different colors uh, where a pool can be, it can be dark green, which means it's like full of uh, uh, algae. And if it's like a teal, it's probably slightly infested, but then not too bad. Uh, and then the blue. So if your pool is going to be the swampy green that it was before, um, I would suggest that not you triple a quarter pool the amount of shock that you normally would use. So if you're going to use, this is a 25,000 gallon pool. We normally use three packets of shock, uh, powder power plus from uh, Leslie pools. Um, but over here, um, because of uh, it was very dark, we um, tripled it. So I used nine, pa nine packets of shock. Uh, the pool doesn't su suggest that, but that's what worked over here so to get us to this level. So we used a couple of times uh, nine packets of um, powder power plus to remove all the vegetation, all the leaf, everything, and then um, got the levels up. Uh, you need to get the pump running 24-7. Uh, you need to allow that to run for a week. Don't stop it. And then shock it. You just literally shock the heck out of it. So um, normally we would add three bags, uh, which is one pound each. So we would be adding three pounds, but um, we tripled it and added nine pounds after we uh, got all the pool chemicals uh, up to level like pH has to be 7 point, uh, between 7.2 and 7.8, so it was 7.4, and then got the alkalinity up to be 100. The cyanuric acid is uh, 50. So since everything was fine, then we shocked it with nine, nine pounds of uh, Powder Power Plus from Leslie Pools. And um, uh, it changed color slightly, but not much. So after 12, we allowed the pool pump to run for uh, 12 hours. Then what we did is we completely scrubbed uh, the walls and the floor with a nice pool brush. So that's another thing that you need to do. You want to loosen out all the algae that's sticking to the walls and the stairs and, uh, and uh, the bottom of the pool. For us, the problem was there was algae on the stairs. And since we can't see it, we couldn't um, really see where the algae was. So we just simply went and brushed the whole pool uh, the walls and the sides and the flooring and then after 12 hours I again slammed it with another this time we used um, six pounds six bags of uh, powder power plus 
and last night and uh, this is the result of that so um, visibly you can see that it changed color so it went from kind of a dark green a bottle green to now like a light green and you can see it's not it's not like the pea green where you can see it's uh, green with algae uh, it looks very muted green so it looks like it's at the verge of turning to blue so this is where we are at um, so we're going to shock it again it's been 12 hours since we added another thing i would suggest is add your shock and then after it's dark so that way you don't lose it uh, to sunlight uh, instead of shocking it during the daytime so we shocked it last night and this changed color now we're going to shock it again it's uh, almost evening now and we're going to shock it again with another nine pounds of uh, shock and hopefully tomorrow this thing will be blue um, so i'll follow it up with another video at that time to show you where we are at so we again uh, got the water tested the levels look fine the alkalinity was down after the first time we shocked it so we had to add the alkalinity up to bring the ph and the alkalinity up a little bit so that's another thing that you need to make sure so after you shock sometimes it can bring the ph and the alkalinity down so you want to before you shock another time you want to go check out the levels tested again and then um, increase the chemicals again and bring it up uh, to what it needs to be before you shock again because otherwise your shock is not going to work so so that's what we did we did uh, we added alkalinity uh, in the afternoon last yesterday and after four hours you have to wait four hours after you add the alkalinity up uh, with the pump running continuously you just um, and then um, after four hours we shocked it again last night and um, we can visibly see the color has changed it's lightened up so much uh, since yesterday but the pool is still not clear so we are going to shock it again now with three pounds of, with nine pounds of powder power plus and hopefully tomorrow we can come back with a beautiful video of our blue pool and hopefully it increases the clarity then you can go in and vacuum out all the debris and anything else that is down there and all the dead algae and uh, and then add the clarifier to clear out your pool. So I'll meet you back again with uh, the changed blue pool. The chalk that you're going to use, this is one pound. This is the Powder Power Plus from Leslie Pools. So we already added a couple of pounds into the pool and you can kind of see it changing color even now as we are adding it. So we removed all the vegetation and we're just uh, broadcasting it uh, dry over the surface of the pool. So I try to Make sure you cover every every inch of the pool uh, fully. And uh, so after you balance everything, this will be the one that you're going to add. So we're going to add nine bags of this. Uh, each bag is one pound. So we're going to add nine bags. And I'll also show you the other chemical that we added to bring the levels up. Uh, before you add this, make sure you scrub the stairs, walls, and bottom of the pool really well. Uh, so you get all the algae in into the water and then when you add the shock it kills it all up and uh, I'll also show you the alkalinity plus that we added prior to this to increase the alkalinity level and the pH um, so we put the shock at about four o'clock now it's about eight almost eight so four hours a um, couple of hours after we put the shock brush it down and this is how it looks it's changed from the light green to completely teal color now so I'm hoping by tomorrow it'll be blue so that's um, a pretty good change in just a few hours of time uh, another thing that I wanted to add is when you put the chemicals um, if you can wear a mask that would be good so that you know the, because it's we're adding it dry um, on the surface of the pool it can fly around and it might get into your nostrils and mouth so to avoid that it'll be good to wear a mask and gloves um, but sometimes they say these chemicals dealing with these chemicals on a regular basis can lead to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and you don't want that so anytime you're dealing with all these chemicals um, regarding a pool or lawn it's better to wear a mask and gloves um, so that's about it for today so you're gonna come back and 
shock it again. Um, 12 hours later, we're gonna let the pump run 24 seven. Um, so it's gonna clear out and then we're gonna shock it one more time. And, uh, but tomorrow morning, this probably is gonna be blue. And then we put the robotic pool whack and vacuum out the, all the dead algae. And we should have uh, the pool good to go. Um, even after it becomes clear, one thing that I want to add is, even after it becomes blue and becomes clear, it's still not ready for the uh, for it to be used, uh, especially the kids, because um, we have used a lot of shock, so the chlorine level is very high, so it's still not ready, though it might look like it's all um, clean and clear, but it's still not ready. So get the water tested again, make sure the chlorine level comes down, wait for the chlorine level to come down, wait a couple of days, uh, it'll get burnt off in the sun, and then wait for the chlorine levels to come down before you start using uh, the pool, and then regularly sanitize it. So, and after that, they, you should be good to go for your season. This is the pool the next day. So it's become kind of a light blue, uh, still kind of milky blue, 